Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Are you an ethical hacker looking to up your game? You know, take your skills to the next level? And when it comes to ethical hacking, Python, with its versatility and massive library ecosystem, is like the ultimate Swiss army knife. In this video, we're diving deep into the top five Python libraries that every ethical hacker, yes, that includes you, absolutely needs to know about. We're talking about libraries that will give you the power to analyze network traffic, craft those sneaky packets, and fortify your security posture like never before. Python's not just some coding language, it's the backbone of modern ethical hacking. So, whether you're a seasoned pro or just dipping your toes into ethical hacking, this video is your one-stop shop for leveling up your skills. We're breaking down each library, showing you the ropes, and giving you the knowledge you need to wield these tools like a true cybersecurity ninja. Let's get started. First up, we've got Scapy. Now, if you're serious about network security, you've got to understand how networks talk to each other. And that's where Scapy comes in. Think of it as your personal translator for all things packets. With Scapy, you can create, customize, and send packets across the network. You want to forge a packet? Scapy's got your back. Need to analyze network traffic for suspicious activity? Scapy can do that too. It's like having x-ray vision into the veins and arteries of the internet. But Scapy's not just about sending and receiving. Oh no, it's way more powerful than that. You can use it to scan networks, test the strength of your firewalls, and even perform penetration testing. It's like having a full-blown network security lab right there in your Python script. And here's the best part. Scapy's incredibly intuitive. Even if you're not a coding wizard, you can pick it up pretty quickly. Its Pythonic syntax is clean, readable, and easy to understand. Trust me, once you go Scapy, you'll never go back. But don't just take my word for it. We're going to dive into some real-world scenarios where Scapy can save the day. Imagine being able to sniff out a rogue device on your network, or even craft a custom packet to test a specific vulnerability. Scapy makes it all possible. So whether you're a network admin, a security researcher, or just a curious mind wanting to understand the inner workings of the internet, Scapy is an absolute must-have in your ethical hacking arsenal. It's powerful, it's versatile, and it's surprisingly fun to use. Don't sleep on Scapy, my friends. Next up, we're taking a look at requests, your go-to library for anything and everything web-related. Now, you might be thinking, web stuff? I thought we were talking about ethical hacking. And you'd be right, but here's the thing. A huge chunk of ethical hacking involves understanding and interacting with web applications. Requests makes it stupid easy to send HTTP requests. We're talking get, post, put, delete, you name it, requests can handle it. Need to download a file from a server? Requests can do that. Want to submit a form with specific data? Requests is your guy. It's like having a personal assistant for all your web-based tasks. But Requests is more than just a fancy HTTP client. It can handle cookies, sessions, authentication, and all that other webby goodness. Plus, it plays nicely with HTML and XML parsing libraries, so you can easily extract data from web pages. Now let's talk about why this is crucial for ethical hackers. Many vulnerabilities exist in web applications. Think SQL injection, cross-site scripting, and all sorts of nasty stuff. With Requests, you can simulate these attacks in a controlled environment figure out how they work, and then help developers fix them before the bad guys exploit them. And here's the kicker. Requests is super beginner friendly. Its API is clean, well-documented, and just plain enjoyable to use. You'll be sending requests like a pro in no time. So whether you're testing web app security, automating web tasks, or just curious about how websites work under the hood, Requests is an indispensable tool for any ethical hacker. It's powerful, it's versatile, and it just might save the internet one web app at a time. Chapter 3, Nmap, the Network Mapper. That's got your six. All right, let's talk about Nmap, the OG of network scanning and mapping. If you're serious about ethical hacking, Nmap is non-negotiable. It's like having a blueprint of your target network, showing you exactly what's connected and what those devices are up to. Nmap lets you scan networks to see what devices are alive and kicking. You can find out their IP addresses, operating systems, open ports, and even the services running on those ports. It's like having a sixth sense that lets you peer into the digital landscape. But Nmap's not just about basic scanning. 
Oh no, it's got a whole bag of tricks up its sleeve. You can use it for advanced techniques like port scanning, OS fingerprinting, service version detection, and even vulnerability scanning. It's the Swiss Army knife of network recon. Now you might be thinking, this all sounds pretty technical. And yeah, Nmap can get deep. But here's the beauty of it. It's incredibly powerful, even at its most basic level. A simple Nmap scan can give you a wealth of information about a network. And for those of you who like to get your hands dirty, Nmap offers a ton of customization options. You can fine-tune your scans, write custom scripts, and automate tasks like a boss. It's the tool of choice for security professionals and ethical hackers worldwide. So, whether you're securing your own network, performing penetration testing, or just curious about what's lurking on your network, Nmap is an absolute must-have. It's powerful, it's versatile, and it's got your back when it comes to network security. Chapter 4 Twisted Asynchronous Awesomeness for Next Level Networking Now let's dive into the world of asynchronous programming with Twisted, a library that might sound intimidating, but trust me, it's your secret weapon for building powerful, network-aware applications. Okay, so what exactly is asynchronous programming? Imagine you're cooking a gourmet meal. With traditional programming, you'd complete each step one by one. But with asynchronous programming, you can chop veggies while the water boils, stir the sauce while the pasta cooks. You get the idea. It's all about efficiency and making the most of your resources. Twisted brings that same efficiency to your Python code, especially when you're dealing with networks. It lets you write programs that can handle multiple connections simultaneously without blocking or slowing down. This is huge for ethical hacking, where you often need to manage multiple connections, process data in real time, and react quickly to events. Let's say you're building a port scanner that needs to check thousands of ports on multiple hosts. With Twisted, you can fire off those requests without waiting for each one to complete, drastically speeding up the process. Or maybe you're creating a custom network crawler that needs to fetch data from hundreds of websites simultaneously. Twisted can handle it like a champ. Now, Twisted does have a bit of a learning curve, especially if you're new to asynchronous programming, but the payoff is well worth it. Once you wrap your head around it, you'll be able to build incredibly efficient and powerful network applications. So, if you're ready to level up your ethical hacking game and dive into the world of asynchronous programming, Twisted is your ticket to success. It's powerful, it's efficient, and it'll give you the edge you need to build next-level networking tools. Chapter 5. Paramico Your Secure Shell into Remote Systems Finally, let's talk about Paramico, your go-to library for secure remote access. Think of it as your trusty SSH client, but with the power and flexibility of Python at your fingertips. Paramico lets you connect to remote servers securely using the SSH protocol. You can execute commands, transfer files, and even interact with remote systems as if you were sitting right in front of them. It's like having a magic portal that lets you teleport into any server you want. Now why is this such a big deal for ethical hackers? Well, for starters, SSH is the gold standard for secure remote access. It encrypts your connection, protecting your data from prying eyes. And as an ethical hacker, you always want to make sure you're accessing systems securely and responsibly. But Paramico is not just about connecting to servers. Oh no, it's way more versatile than that. You can use it to automate system administration tasks, manage remote servers at scale, and even build custom security tools. Imagine being able to write a Python script that automatically logs into all your servers, checks for vulnerabilities, and patches them up before any harm can be done. Or maybe you need to transfer sensitive files between servers securely. Paramico's got you covered. And here's the best part. Paramico is surprisingly easy to use. Its API is clean, well-documented, and intuitive. You'll be SSHing into servers like a pro in no time. So whether you're a system administrator, a security professional, or an ethical hacker, Paramico is an essential tool for anyone who needs to access remote systems securely and efficiently. It's powerful. It's secure, and it'll make you feel like a true tech wizard. So there you have it, folks. Those are the top five Python libraries that every aspiring ethical hacker needs to know. We've covered a lot of ground today, from dissecting network packets with Scapy to automating secure shell connections with Parmico. Remember, these libraries are your secret weapons in the world of cybersecurity. Now, 
I don't expect you to master these libraries overnight. Like any good tool, they take time and practice to truly understand. But the best way to learn is by doing. So fire up your Python interpreter, experiment with these libraries, and see what amazing things you can create. And hey, while you're at it, drop a comment down below and tell me which library you're most excited to try out. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more awesome content. Until next time, stay curious, stay ethical, and keep on hacking.